Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate this nested radicals as you can see over here. And our this problem looks like this thing, the square root of one plus 2000. And within that square root, we have another radical square root of one plus 2001. And this goes on up until one plus 2003 times 2005 and furthermore we are not supposed to use calculators of any kind so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and let's focus on this part first this is the one that i'm going to circle it and here i have just copied them down 2003 times 2005 here i'm gonna tweak them a little bit i can write this 2003 as 2004 minus 1 and 2005 I could write 2004 plus 1 and as you can see that this represents the product of this difference and the sum therefore I'm going to use this formula the product of difference and the sum equal to the difference of their squares so this could be written as 2004 square minus 1 square and 1 square could be just written as just 1 so I can write 2004 square minus 1 so this whole radical problem is going to look like this one everything is going to be same except this one I am going to replace it by 2004 square minus 1 let's go ahead and do this thing I'm going to just write down 1 plus I'm going to replace this one by that that is going to become 2004 square minus 1 now we can see that this positive one and negative one they cross out so this radical part over here square root of 2004 square I have just copied it down over here this square and square root they undo each other we end up with simply 2004 so I am going to copy down everything whole problem except this part this turns out to be 2004 so I'm going to go ahead and copy it down over here times 2004 and now let's focus on this part over here inside this radical 2002 times 2004 I have just copied it down right up here and let's go ahead and manipulate this one 2002 could be written as 2003 minus 1 and 2004 could be written as 2003 plus 1 and we can see that this represents the product of the difference and the sum so we're going to use this formula once again so this whole thing is going to become simply 2003 square minus 1 square which is same as 2003 square and 1 square could be written as simply minus 1 here everything is going to look same except this part 2002 times 2004 and I have manipulated this one and we got 2003 square minus 1 and here we can see that this negative 1 and positive 1 that is gone and here I have just copied down this part over here the square root of 2003 square we can see that this square and square root they undo each other so we got simply 2003 and here everything is going to be same except this part I have going to replace it by 2003 so let me just write down times 2003 and now in this next step let's focus on this part over inside this radical 2001 times 2003 which one I have just copied it down over here and we are going to repeat the same process as we did in our previous steps we just manipulated it and it turns out to be 2002 square minus 1 so let me go ahead and replace this part by this one so this is going to become 2002 square minus 1 
we can see that this negative one and positive one this is gone finally our this radical term is going to look like one plus two thousand times this two thousand two all right now let's focus on this part inside this square root 2000 times 2002. I have just copied it down and after repeating all the steps that we did in our previous steps, we ended up with 2001 square minus one. So this, our, this square root part, this radical part is going to become simply square root of one plus then 2001 square minus one and we can see this negative one and positive one this is gone so we ended up with simply square root of 2001 square and we can see that the square and square root is gone so we got simply our answer turns out to be 2000 one. So thus our final answer turns out to be 2001. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.